Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of the Piper Harlow Show. I am super stoked about this because we have Lexi Barbudo from Housewives of New Jersey, and then we have the cult jam. You remember from the 80s, oh my gosh, guys, they're gonna perform live. I am super excited. Hurry up and grab that cup of coffee. Come right back because you are in for an incredible show. Stay tuned. Tune in Sundays at 11 a.m. to the Piper Harlow Show, where entrepreneurship meets entertainment. If you are fun-loving and fearless, then our celebrity guests and experts will surely inspire you. So I will see you Sundays at 11 a.m. on News 12 Plus. National State Jewelry Buyers at 732-257-4653 or visit us online at www.toppricesforgold.com Diamonds and watches and coins we buy Need extra cash and give us a try You'll get the most money and that's not a lie We're in East Brunswick so come and say hi Welcome back. I am here with Lexi Barbudo. You would know her most from Housewives of New Jersey. Thank you so much for being here today, Lexi. Thank you so much for having me. The studio is so cute. Thank you. Thank you. It's very uh, bright, uplifting, springy. We have a gorgeous day. I'm so in the so mood. gorgeous today, right? Would you know most of this stuff is actually from my home? I love it. Well, your house must be very cute. It's a little empty now. <laughs> <laughs> it was cute at the time. <laughs> you sit in on the floor now. Pretty Nothing much. <laughs> So I feel like we have so much to talk about. You have such an amazing career, you know, coming from London, coming here, working with Margaret Josephs, being on Housewives, having soiree. You are just like businesswoman extraordinaire. Thank so, you. Yes. Thank you Where do we so even good. start? Let's talk about maybe even like coming here and how you started working with Margaret as her creative director. Yeah, sure. It's very funny, actually, because a lot of people ask me this. I did not, despite my ridiculous accent now. I love your accent. I Just get so a you lot know, of grief. No, that is the sexiest accent ever. Well, thank yeah. you, because I get ridiculed on this side of the Atlantic no. and the other, because no. I am no longer British nor American. Um, Moving here, I moved on a whim. And when I say a whim, it was literally like, I need a change. Let's go. My aunt lives in the city and had done for a really long time. She's been here like almost 30 years. And I packed my suitcases and I moved. That's amazing. And literally, Margaret was one of my first introductions as to someone that could be like a potential good, um, you know, like fit for me a as boy, I was changing a friend or, careers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we met. We hit it off instantly. She was exactly as you see on TV. Same girl always. Big boobs, blonde <laughs> hair, huge lashes, gorgeous smile. And really, I mean, not unlike the studio, she was stood in her booth at the time at the trade show with the Macbeth collection. And it was all bright colors, prints and patterns. Yep. And it just spoke to me because I have a fashion background. Yes, you have such amazing fashion. I don't mean to cut you off, but oh, we can talk about you. that later, too. <laughs> thank you. So it just was it was a perfect fit. And Margaret said, you know, what? hey, I would love to work, work together. You know, like, let's try this. Let's see. And she literally said, I'll call you. And, you know, when you're like, OK, just yeah. move to this country. I know nobody. Of course, she's going to call me. Well, she actually did. 
That's it. It was that, and it was as simple as that. I walked into the office. I did a couple of trade shows, and literally, I never left. And we were really lucky. We grew our licensing business to mm -hmm. at sixty million dollars in sales. That's incredible. Yeah, it was really, really fun. That's so incredible. Yeah. So now we're working on a new brand, but people don't always realize how it started, and it was literally a simple introduction. I think that's the. We talked about networking a lot on this show and how uh, that's probably the most important thing when it comes to business is meeting people and you never know what's going to transpire. This is like a perfect example of that. And, you know, it's very funny because coming from England, I say this all the time, networking is not a natural skill for me. It really? Is, yes. You are so, so, I think you're so social. You know, being social and a good networker are not the same thing. Okay. I, I will. Yeah. I think it's really important to let people who watch the show know, you know, even if you're the most social and outgoing person, it's not enough. You need to leverage those collect, uh, connections. You need to advocate for yourself. You need to ask for the things that you yeah. need. And coming from England, where if I bump into a wall, I apologize. <laughs> it's not necessarily a natural thing for me to seek out relationships in business. So over the last 16 years working with Margaret, that's a skill I've had to really work on myself. Well, I think you've done an amazing job. Thank and, you. You know, you've grown. I want to talk about soiree in a minute. Yeah. Um, but you also, in your personal life, you know, you're a mommy now. I and, am. And uh, so how has that been, being a mother and working on these brands, being on TV? How has that all been for you? You know, I would say the best bit of working with Margaret and being a mommy is that my life is very flexible and she has such a deep kindness and understanding of what it takes to be a mom. Yes. And, you know, Nina has come to work with me. People saw him on Housewives from literally being a tiny baby all the way through. The worst thing about having a baby on TV is having to stand near Melissa Gorga in a bathing suit not long after you gave birth. <laughs> that was pretty horrible oh, and traumatic. No. Well, you look fabulous. <laughs> but I smiled through it and it's all good. But now being a mom is great. And, you know, now we have soiree. It's like having two babies because this business needs as much attention mm. as my son. And I'm also a single mom. So it's hard. Like I yeah. am tired a lot of the time. Yeah. But at the same time, you get one shot in, in life. Like you have to shoot your shot. You have to go for it, it and make time for the things that are important. That's it. I just, I actually posted yesterday uh, something I saw on Instagram and it said, you can keep going or you can quit. Both are going to hurt. Yes. So to keep going. That's such good advice. It's so true. And people often think, you know, like it's so easy to give up. In business, you will have a thousand no's. A thousand. And the no's are okay because the no's mean that is not for you. Better to have a quick no and move on to something else than a long, drawn out, you know, like dance with somebody. Like, yes. no, same in relationships, by the way. Quick no, move on, let's go. That's it. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for maybe. <laughs> That's exactly it. This You're a, you are a true Jersey girl now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you have arrived. <laughs> so, all right, tell me, tell the audience more about Soiree. It's a non-alcoholic beverage, correct? It is. Yes. It is. So Soiree is a fabulous new non-alcoholic beverage that we just brought to market last year. It is lightly sparkling. It's low in calorie. It's low sugar. It's all natural. It's real juices. It is good, clean fun. That's great. I actually don't drink. I never have. You know? Yeah. I just never have. I used to get my nails done so often as a teenager. And to me, any type of alcoholic beverage, wine, it just smells like nail polish remover. So I don't drink. Wow. Well, soiree is That's for it. you. That's for it me. It really is. And it's very authentic to Margaret and myself because uh, Margaret doesn't drink. Same as yourself. No prior history, no issues. She would happily right. admit that she just doesn't enjoy the taste of alcohol or the way it makes it feel. Mm -hmm. And Soiree was designed that if, like me, sometimes you like to spike a cocktail, you know, <laughs> you could do You could pour a little something, something in there. Right. That's <laughs> it. It's about the party, the good time, the experience, not what's in your glass. So it's about making everyone, like yourself and Margaret, feel yeah. a part of the party. I love it. I love it. And there's such beautiful colors, too, such beautiful branding. I'm, I'm assuming, assuming you had... All the things yeah. to do with that. Yes. That was one of the most fun things to do. You know, it, and again, it's very authentic to us. We'll go to trade shows and like parties and events and we'll be head to toe on bright colors and crazy. And people will be like, oh, you look like your brand. And we're like, no, 
the, the brand, brand looks, looks like, like us. us. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So Lexi, what is next for you? Okay, so this year is a big year for Soiree. We just broke into the Houston market. Yeah. We got back from rodeo actually yesterday afternoon. I'm wow. about <laughs> still standing, but that's it. And it's a year of growing this brand and putting in. Obviously, we have a new season of Real Housewives in New Jersey coming up, which you'll actually see Soiree on that too. Yes, that's so awesome. So it's really fun. So and maybe I'll try sneaking a little time for my love life, but as uh, <laughs> Anybody get time? It'll happen when it happens, That's right? Ambitious. Yes. Uh, we'll focus on this and my son and have a good time. Aww. And where can people go to find you to find Soiree? So to find Soiree, you could go to drinksoiree.com. We're also sold in New Jersey at Gary's and Buy Right and other liquor stores. You can also follow at Drink Soiree and you can follow me at The Life of Mrs. B. And there's some very good stuff on there. <laughs> I love your stories. <laughs> I'm an open book. So yes. let's just say you might get more than you bargain for on that. <laughs> well, Lexi, thank you so much for coming here today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. This was so fun. Aw, yay. <laughs> thank you. All right, everybody, stay tuned. We will be right back with the Cult Jam. Tune in Sundays at 11 a.m. to The Piper Harlow Show, where entrepreneurship meets entertainment. If you are fun-loving and fearless, then our celebrity guests and experts will surely inspire you. So I will see you Sundays at 11 a.m. on News 12 Plus. National Estate Jewelry Buyers at 732-257-4653 or visit us online at www.toppricesforgold.com Diamonds and watches and coins we buy Need extra cash and give us a try You'll get the most money and that's not a lie We're in East Brunswick so come and say hi And now, back to the Piper Harlow Show.
Hey News 12, tune in Sundays at 11 a.m. to the Piper Harlow Show, where entrepreneurship meets entertainment. If you are fun-loving and fearless, then our celebrity guests and experts will surely inspire you. So I will see you Sundays at 11 a.m. on News 12 Plus. National Estate Jewelry Buyers at 732-257-4653 or visit us online at www.toppricesforgold.com Diamonds and watches and coins we buy Need extra cash and give us a try You'll get the most money and that's not a lie We're in East Brunswick so come and say hi Welcome back. Uh, guys, that was the most amazing performance ever. I am, I'm a little, you know, fanny happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have always been a massive fan of Lisa Lisa and the Cold Jam. Um, thank you so much for being here today. Thank, and thank, thank you so for much for us. that performance. Thank you. So tell everybody, you guys have had some massive hits. You are 80s icons. Um, t- tell us about it. How did that go? It's It's been a, a long journey. It's been a, a lot of fun. Um, it started in 84. I put the band together in '84, and um, and through our our friends and producers pulled for us. Our first record was "I Wonder If I Take You Home," and it was yes. a whirlwind since then. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, a lot today. of fun. A whole lot of fun. <laughs> a whole lot of fun. Oh my gosh. A whole lot of memories. A lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You guys have played everywhere. We've played all over the world and and a few times. And um, yeah. And we're looking forward to doing that again now with Miss Dina. Yeah. At, let's at, talk about at, you know at the helm. Yes. Yes. You have a new lead singer now, Miss Miss Dina. Yeah. Yes. How does it feel to be the lead singer of this legendary band? Yeah, um, it's very exciting for me because I was a kid at one time. I know I can't believe it. I was a kid. And I listened to their stuff growing up. Yes. And it was just, it's a whole vibe. They were always a vibe for me. And especially Lisa being New Yorkian herself. Mm -hmm. um, I just connected to that in so many ways. So now that I'm here, I'm like, yes. Yeah. (laughs) You know, I feel like I'm I'm in a, a good spot. And you are keeping up with the fashion. I mean, oh, look at these boots. Can we just talk you. about that? And these earrings. Look at that girlfriend. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> love it. Love it. So let's talk about some of the new music that you guys have coming out right now. Yes. Um, um, earlier last year, we started releasing the new stuff from the upcoming album, which mm-hmm. will be entitled uh, Cold Gem Love. Because we're all about love. Yeah. Love and energy and party, having a good time. And um, so the first single from that album was uh, What Love Can Do. Mm-hmm. And um, and then we released uh, celebrate towards the end of the year because we wanted everyone to celebrate and dance, yes, yes. you know, and have Best a good time with do. us. Mm-hmm. Yes, in this crazy world. Yes, for real. And now um, we just just released. I mean, just right out the box, holding back the years, and it's a great cover. It's our first uh, ballad from this mm-hmm. upcoming album. Oh, and, can't wait. And yeah, yeah um, I think people are gonna love it. Yeah. So where are you performing? What's next? Um, well, um, right now we were putting, trying to put together a little tour. Uh, we were just around uh, upstate New York, and and we performed, of course, in Brooklyn, in, in yes, New York, because yes. that's where we were from. That's what's and, up. Um, <laughs> yeah, Long, Island. Long Island? Yeah, so okay, yes. Long Island. Long, Long Island. Island. Long Island. <laughs> So, yeah, so um, we're putting together some stuff and we hope to see in the immediate future uh, Jersey and Boston and stuff like that. Well, let me know. Yeah. I'm going to be Philly. there yes. with my T-shirts on, front row. <laughs> <laughs> What's got totally fangirling out. I'm not ashamed to say it. <laughs> of course. Um, so what advice would you have to musicians, I think of all ages, whether they're just starting out or maybe older in life and trying to get back into music? I mean, you know, Everyone says the, the basics, and the basics is 
to really love your craft and hone your craft. You know what I mean? Really, you know, if it, this is what you want to do, you'll really make it something you love to do and do it well, the best you can, you know? And then once that's done, now all the crazy stuff starts, like, you know, uh, being a figure online, which is a new thing, you know? Right, yes, you know, you have, yes. You have to have an online presence and, and, and let people hear you and see your personality as well as hearing your music that's a whole new yeah. new ball game which we're way. which we're you know as as um as older artists we find ourselves in this new new world of doing things so we know we have to get used to it ourselves if it makes you feel any better I'm a publicist and I still don't do so much on <laughs> social media. <laughs> it's definitely something to get used to. Yes, it yeah. is. Yes, yes. You know, like I always say, I'm still 25. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. Hey, you can say that. <laughs> yes, yes. You identify as 25. I identify as 25, absolutely. <laughs> you can say that. And how about for you? For for myself, um, I also identify as 25. <laughs> um, no, I, I would say to somebody uh, younger than me, I would say don't get stuck in what you've always liked and grown with. I mean, you can be yourself, like that. Mm -hmm. be yourself, but understand that times do change formats. The formats change over time. So it's like we're talking about social media. You know, I'm stuck in the old school of like, oh, but, you know, we do it like this and we do it like that. But it's like, wait a second, how are people getting their information? Exactly. You know, like just you kind of have to go with the wind, go where the wind takes you like as far that. as... As that. I like Sorry. that. I love that. <laughs> All right. So, where can people go to find you and and to find out about upcoming shows that are happening? Okay. Friday nights at Denny's. Friday, Friday nights at Denny's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and of course, the Insta, Instagram, um, Cold Jam at Cold Jam Love, Love on Instagram and on uh, a website www.coldjammusic.com. www.coldjammusic.com. Follow us. Yeah. Yes. And where can people go to find Holding Back the Years? Because we all want to hear that. Uh, holding Back the Years. You can go to Spotify, iTunes, wherever you get your downloads from. Holding Back the Years. Cult Jam. Go get yeah. it. Don't hold back on Holding Back those years. Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for being here. It was such a pleasure. I'm I'm going to remember this interview for a very, 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 very long time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tune in Sundays at 11 a.m. to The Piper Harlow Show, where entrepreneurship meets entertainment. If you are fun-loving and fearless, then our celebrity guests and experts will surely inspire you. So I will see you Sundays at 11 a.m. on News 12 Plus. National Estate Jewelry Buyers at 732-257-4653 or visit us online at www.toppricesforgold.com Diamonds and watches and coins we buy Need extra cash and give us a try You'll get the most money and that's not a lie We're in East Brunswick so come and say hi
Thank you everybody for tuning in to this week of the Piper Harlow Show. This is seriously one of my most favorite shows we've ever done. Thank you to Lexi and to the Cult Jam for being here. Everybody, I hope you have an amazing week. Do something that makes you feel inspired. And remember, always be seen, be heard, and be fearless. Woohoo!